You know, this might be a bit of a jump, especially for the start of a new episode, but I feel like today is gonna be a fantastic day. Anyways, everyone, welcome back to The Long Dark. If you remember last time, we went ahead and visited the farmstead out in the middle of nowhere, and we have slowly hiked our way over towards this barn here, to where I'm warming up inside this vehicle. On top of that, we've also gotten ourselves an emergency stim pack, and 12 extra matches. So yeah, life is going pretty darn good. And it's only gonna get better as time goes on. We are currently on day five, and we are gonna be looting the town today. Hopefully. Right now though, we need to warm up in order to get the temperature to travel. So yeah, I'm gonna be spending the rest of our time waiting, crafting up birch bark tea and rose hips. Okay, awesome. We've gotten all of our temperature back, and now the only thing that really matters is if the outside temperature is gonna cooperate with us. I'm gonna take a small little peek outside, and we'll see how bad it gets. Oh, it's terrible. This is not that good. I mean, it's not super duper cold, but the visibility is definitely at a, you know, it's definitely at a minus. Also, there's no arrows inside of this target here. I think I'm gonna head back inside and wait around a little bit longer. Actually, we might be able to follow a road on down. So you know what? I'm gonna head back inside, top off on temperature, and we're gonna we're gonna risk it for the biscuit. I'm pretty sure that's a designated trail, so it'd be very hard to get lost. Before we do that though, I will check around these tractor cabs right over here. Yeah, no, we got nothing. Okay, you know what? Let's move. With our flare out, of course. If the worst case scenario does happen, I can just retrace my footsteps all the way back to the barn. Right? Right. <laughs> this is terrible, but at the very least, it's not super duper cold. Oh my god. I need to go. I need a haul. Maybe we stay in the uh maybe we stay in the barn for a little bit longer. <laughs> oh yeah, no, okay. Wow wow wee wah. We're gonna wait a few more minutes inside the safety of our house. Or I guess place. I'm gonna go to sleep for an hour and we'll see if it gets better, you know, then. Nope, it's not that good at all. But the weather is really freaking good, so I'm gonna not follow the road this time, and I'm gonna cut it off at this angle. We're only gonna go one direction, so I don't get lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, man, I just stepped outside. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna start hauling, okay? We'll worry about the wolf later. Uh, worst case scenario, I have to light off a torch and then, you know, I'll, I'll just- I'll just have a free fire starter when we get to the town. You don't scare me, wolf. At all. Okay, I hear more in the distance. Please screw off. I'm gonna just keep on hustling. All the way to a nice little embankment. You know what? This is a very good sign. I'm pretty sure if I follow it down, I will reach the town. So yeah, let's keep on moving. Picking up some cattails on the way, of course. Okay, you know what? I should get it later. Yeah, it's not worth it right now. What is, what is that? What? Oh my... Is that... What What the hell is that? Oh, that's a moose. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Please. Why is every animal trying to kill me today? Okay. That's a good sign. I think the moose just killed the wolf. Terrifying. Man, what a chain of events though, huh? <laughs> I get chased by a bear, run back inside my barn, then step out, get stalked by a wolf, and then that wolf gets scared off by a moose who is ready to fracture my ribcage. What a crazy, crazy uh, turn of events. We escaped, though, with our life. Let's continue following this river down. Oh, that was so close. It's as easy as that, dude. It's as easy as that. Get over here. No, 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 no. Pick it up, pick it up. Oh! <laughs> no way. Pick it up. Oh my God. You have one. Yes, yes. 
Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh my. Okay, I got a little bit heated over that, not gonna lie. I, I bludgeoned him like five times in a row. <laughs> we got another rabbit though, which means predators are more likely to attack me. But if I, you know, find them chasing me, I can just drop off the corpse and leave them in the dust. By the way, I don't know if this leads to the town. At any point, I would just like a structure. Though we did get some free rabbit dinner, so who am I to complain? Also, cattails. Worst case scenario, I do know our barn is over in this direction, so all I need to do is head down there if I get any more lost. In which I think I am, pretty much so. Oh, hold on here. We got ourselves a nice little cottage. Hell yeah, I wonder if I can enter this place and actually warm up a tad. No, it's owned by the bank and foreclosed. Well, if there's one house, that means there might be a couple more, so let's go look around the area just a tiny bit more. We do got some sticks up here. I really do wish the weather would clear up, but I really had to capitalize on the fact that the weather is so, uh, clean. Also, when I meant clean, I actually meant warm. Also, that's a church. If I can't enter that, I would be extremely disappointed. Please let me in. I am so cold right now. Oh my god, we actually did make it to the town. Oh, we are so back and we are gonna loot so much. First of all, let's go check out this little uh, church. Yeah. To see what we got inside. Now that we have made it over, I feel ten times better, by the way. Because this town has like, I would say three or four enterable buildings, all with their own separate loot tiles. So the chances we get some good stuff are pretty damn high. Like books, which are actually so heavy, I won't take too many with me. We also got a candy bar, some stacks of papers, which looks to be it inside this church here. You know what? What was I expecting out of a church, right? Usually it's just gonna be books. Okay, cool. We got so many other buildings to explore, though, all within eyesight. So let's go walk down the road and see if there's any other spots we can enter. Oh man, it's so nice to have this many buildings to loot, and even though we're on interloper mode, just by the sheer amount of buildings, we have to find something good, right? Okay, let's see what's in here now. Nothing so far, except a nice can of tomato soup, which is actually it. This entire house had a single can of soup. You know what? That's one more than I've had before. <laughs> Alrighty then, next house. Okay, out of all the buildings I visited so far, this one looks to have the best chance of actual good stuff, right? Already, I see a potato in the sink, some firewood next to a potbelly stove, and I bet so many other small things, like some table salt. That's gonna be it for the kitchen, though. No food items. That's fine. I'm sure there will be something else inside here. Also, when I meant something, I actually meant nothing. Oh man, these loot tables are so rough. There's nothing under the bed. There's more books. I was really hoping this place would have had, you know, a little bit more. Okay, hold on here. We have some wet shower sports socks inside of there. I don't think we need those. Yeah, no, we don't. So that's just free cloth. We have some sneakers inside of the corner here, which are actually pretty nice, especially because they have a run speed bonus. And we have water. I'm gonna take the water right now because we are pretty low and I don't want to start up a unnecessary fire. That's gonna be it for this house though. Um, it was a bit of a swing and definitely a miss. I do know that there should be a gas station and a community center, so I'm not super beat up over it. Also, the weather finally cleared up. Holy hell, I can see. And I can see... Hello? Do I hear something out there? I swear, I heard like a bear or something off in the distance. Well, I don't see it, so I'm not gonna poke the hornet's nest. Let's go check out the community center. In which we got weekly bingo night. Oh man, if it's bingo night, that means they gotta bring out all the good stuff, right? Like lantern fuel off the bat. A very nice cotton toque that I don't really need right now. It's not as good as my scarf. 
It might change in the future if I fix it up, though. There's also some leftover cedar firewood, even more toilet water, a granola bar, a hook, some antiseptic, peaches, some antiseptic and peaches, Carrots, a cooking skillet. That's pretty huge. I can fry up some cool stuff with that. Uh, a Thompson family stew recipe. A light but satisfying stew made with vegetables, fresh from the gardens of Pleasant Valley. Which is everything inside here. We got a whole bunch of food and supplies, though, so let's go check out the whatchamacallit now. The gas station. We'll go leave some supplies, and we will head on back to the farmstead to, you know, recover and recuperate. Which should hopefully follow the whole trope of the best being the last, right? I have a lot of faith inside this gas station, and maybe some of the cars around it. Never mind about that part, actually. It's fine. We have Thompson's Market to bring it all back. Now, I will say, it is a little bit darker inside here than the other locations, but hopefully we will be able to grab every little thing off this place regardless. Starting with the vending machine, which boasts nothing, uh, some crackers on some shelves, a very delicious Summit Soda, Running River Oats, a Small Arms Handbook, which is useless for me because guns don't exist in Interloper, Accelerant, more wood matches, which is the best thing we found today, a sewing kit, potatoes, stump remover, which is also pretty useless, because, you know, gunpowder and all. We have another book of Wilderness Kitchen. I have no idea if those stack, but I will keep it. We have... Aw, oh, dang it, I thought those were metal bowls. Or not metal bowls, metal pots, and I was gonna get really excited. And finally, we have potatoes. Carrots, and a little bit of potatoes. Oh man, that's a lot. And that's everything here, everyone. We have looted it all. Now, the question is, do we head out right now and, you know, brave the elements while it is a little bit... And, you know, brave the elements while it is a little bit more warmer out, but it is closer to becoming night? Or do we stay here for the day and reconvene back at the, you know, back at the other spot later? Honestly, I might stay at the community center for the night and we will head out in the morning back towards the farmstead. Yeah, you know what? That's not a bad idea, because I'm pretty sure if we follow the main road that's near the gas station, we will reach the farmstead, and then I can, you know, head back, pick up the things I need, and leave once and for all. So let's go drop off a whole bunch of stuff that I don't need for the trip back, because I am going to need to make quite a bit of space. So after sleeping for a solid 10 hours, we have woken up in the middle of a blizzard. If I step outside, it's gonna be pretty bad out. Matter of fact, let me show you, because I was just out here dropping off my gamey rabbit meat right there. Yeah, no, it's bad out. Um, we're not heading out in this weather, so we are gonna stake out for the rest of the day inside here. Now you might be asking yourself, how am I going to be spending my time within this blizzard? It's quite simple. We have a bunch of curtains to dismantle and repair our actual stuff with, right? So let's see how warm we can get with what resources we have. Also, I need to do more inventory management. Currently, we dropped off books, food, and a few bits of shoes. And to be honest, I'm going to have to be back here in order to go to Coastal Highway, which is where I want to go for my route. So I am going to drop off all of my new stuff here because this is going to be my new base. I decided that resting up inside the farmhouse probably isn't the play, and if I make a base within Coastal Highway, I would be able to ferry the stuff a lot quicker. So yeah, this is gonna be my new base of operations. All we gotta do is drop off the stuff. 
Okay, cool. I waited like 30 minutes, and the outside sounds a lot more calm, so I think it's about time to head out. And while I dropped off the rest of my stuff, I realized another thing. These boots, as cool as they are right now, are very hard to repair and they weigh 2 kilos. So in order to save space, I'm actually gonna switch over to the running shoes because they quite literally give me about the same amount of protection in terms of what you might call it, weather, and these shoes give me a running bonus if I'm not mistaken so yeah I'm gonna drop off the boots we're gonna wear the shoes so now we are a slim and trim 13 kilos in carried weight I might be able to drop off the stones and other things but I think that's pretty damn good okay let's drink some water and let's see how bad it is outside it's not that bad at all actually it is very cold, so I am gonna have to hit the ground running as soon as I leave. Which means I need to prepare myself for quite the run. If we come across any wolves, I will use my... not flare, but torches to scare them off. Matter of fact, let me bring some more so I might be able to daisy chain it all the way through. Yeah, no, we're as ready as we're ever gonna be. And so, it's time for us to move. And immediately after stepping out quite literally like 30 paces out, I am reminded on why it's called interloper mode. We are freezing to death at an astronomical rate, so we need to haul. It's really good that we brought those sneakers. We are moving. Also, free pickup truck. Is there a pry bar here? No pry bar. And so being like 10 minutes out in the wilderness has already decreased my temperature enough for me to get hypothermia. The one good thing is that getting all of those 10 hour sleeps have bumped up my condition bar so much so to where, you know, taking a small little condition hit is not as bad as it seems. Matter of fact, I think the barn that I visited last time is right over there. So we are schmoving. The only thing I am a little bit scared about is that there is a bear, you know, still lurking around the area, and that's the last thing I would want to poke, because I don't know if a torch would be able to scare off one of those guys. Probably not, so yeah. If there's a hay bale that moves, we know to run in the opposite direction. For now, we are making really good progress. Oh, hold on, there's a small little cabin out here. I know this is a little bit ill-advised, but the chances of me finding something cool aren't enough to stop me from, you know, getting a little bit detoured. There are a bunch of crows nearby. Oh yeah, he's right there. Hey, little guy, do you got anything to help me survive? No, nothing. That's fine. Uh, ooh, actually, there is some tomato soup inside here. Hey, look at that. It's always worth it to check out these little spots, plus the rose hips. Hey, would you look at that? There's actually the barn that we dropped off the rabbits at last time, which is a pretty good sign that we are in the home stretch. Now, I am going to revisit this barn because some of you guys did mention that there's actually a way up to the rafters if you go up these hay bales here and worm your way around. So, you know, I am not one to avoid some really good loot. I don't know if there's gonna be, like, actually anything here, but it's a good way of warming up just a tiny bit more, and we might get lucky. We definitely gotta keep our eyes peeled, though, because, it, you know, there could be an item hanging anywhere inside these rafters. There is a corpse here. Hello, do you have anything on you? No, nothing. That's fine. Dang, that's really it up here, huh? Well, maybe there's something in the backpack. Ooh, matches! That right there made the entire trip worth it. Now it's time to head off to the farm and grab all of our basic supplies. Coolio, we made it back with no real issues. Also, judging from the rabbit condition, it looks like the food isn't uh, good if you leave it inside the porch. So I'm gonna leave it outside for now. I will probably cook it up. You know what? I'm gonna cook it up right now. That's a lot of calories right there. And you know, it'd be a shame to miss out on that much, right? Yeah, anyways, we're back. Finally, after so, so long. I am gonna give this place a little once over though, just so I know I've gotten everything. And then after that, 
Uh, it's a lot of management. <laughs> During the meantime, the rabbit meat can cook up. Okay, let's look around. Yeah, it looks like there was just the extra bit of salt. That is fine, though. We got a bunch of rabbit meat to eat, and it does make me pretty stinky. So I might want to eat the food uh, right now. Yeah, we'll eat this. If there's any... Actually, no, we don't really need to eat it. I kind of regret doing that because, you know, we're going to have a torch out the entire way back. That's two rabbits done, though. Bada boom. And while that fireplace is still going on, we can focus on bringing some stuff over. Particularly the guts, which is going to make me super stinky. The books, some of the scrap metal, definitely the heavy hammer. And all of the food we can fit. I don't really care too much about the, whatchamacallit, the, the clothing, other than the light shell. Actually, no, never mind. In every way, I think the ski jackets are just better in general. Okay, well, let's go grab the food. Let's leave. Yeah, everything else can stay. Also, let me add in one more piece of cedar firewood. And the reason why I want to do that is because I want torches. But more importantly, what I really want to cook up is some delicious... Da, 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 da. I left my damn cooking pot, didn't I? Okay, you know what? I'm going to go eat a can of food so I can prepare some coffee before we head out. And I will help myself to some tomato soup. Let's warm it up and then we'll eat it. Because the one thing that I really want right now is some coffee. If I get some coffee, we will have a lot more endurance to run around and carry all of this stuff. So yeah, let's cook that up. Because half of the day has passed. And if you look at our uh, tiredness bar, it is a little bit lacking. So I think drinking coffee will, one, warm us up. And two, give me enough energy to move my way all the way down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Let's help ourselves to some coffee. Bada bingo. Okay, cool. Let's grab the can, and let's go grab some torches. As many as we can fit. And so, I will see all of you guys back at the town. Yep, that right there, that is a wolf. Okay, that's not a good sign. I am hopefully gonna be good if we just keep him at a distance. We have more than enough torches. Hopefully this guy doesn't follow me. If he does, he will learn the true meaning of pain. Please, go attack that deer instead. Okay, cool. It's coming after a rabbit. That means we can skirt right on by. Have fun with your dinner deal, my good sir. You know what? I have an idea. I'm going to drop down the torch at my feet, and I'm going to throw stones at him until he runs away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to be my rabbit now, little guy. Get the heck out of here. Throw you. And now I'm going to hit you right in the head with my stone throw of doom. Get out of here. Scram. My, that's my dinner meal. That's my banquet. <laughs> yeah, like stealing candy from a baby. Nope. Nope, I'm taking it. I will throw another rock at you. You better get the hell out of here. You better hustle before you, uh, you, you, you get the muscle. Hey, hey, wait, 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 get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, that's right, dingus. Okay, we need to leave right now. He was really, really, really angry at me for taking his meal there. <laughs> Hit him right in the nose. Okay, yep, we're leaving. Also, fun fact, I see the town in the distance, and if you look at my temperature bar right now, I'm actually warming up, which is pretty insane on how warm of a day it is. And because it's so warm, I think I'm going to end off the day at town. But in the meantime, I'm going to be spending the rest of my day inside a vehicle so I can kind of fight off the cabin fever problem, right? Because at this point, we have survived for almost six or like five days, and if we stay indoors for that long, it's not very good for my mental mental health. So yeah, by the time we started off tomorrow? Oh no, that's another wolf. Okay, we're going around the long way it seems. I forget, I'm carrying like the equivalent of a of a million rabbit uh, parts in my inventory. They love this.
Anyways, we've made it back to the community hall, everyone. The rabbit meat is still outside. I will drop off the rest of this stuff. And yeah, let's hop on in with our ill-gotten gains. Especially the rabbit. I, I stole it from that wolf and I, I am very happy over it. I wonder how much food is on here. Not much, to be honest, but that extra hide and gut is gonna be huge. So yeah, I'm gonna end things off here. We have quite the bit of supplies from this entire trip. And I think next episode, I'm gonna take it easy outside so I avoid cabin fever. And we are gonna head off to the coastal highway, which should be over there, which is one more location away from actually crafting up, you know, tools and supplies. If you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more. I will see all of you next time. Peace out, everyone.